you can lock me up you can ban what i do physically but you cannot ban what i feel for my country what i feel for my people for my brothers and sisters and what i want my country to be you can't ban that i try to take their voices to the people in india and say to them this is the true strength of the struggle the struggle is not just a protest the struggle is the true intellectual thinking of the people when there is real thinking within the tibetan struggle there is no end to this struggle this struggle will live forever <laughs> The influx of illegal immigrants from the Philippines came mainly in the 70s. This is what the Filipinos will say, you know. They also say a lot of things like uh, Sapa is anyway part of the Philippines. How come we can't be here? You know, this is part of our own country, which is pushing. We caught up with Freedom Film Fest Festival Director Anna Ha in Johor. This year's Freedom Film Fest started on September 6th and lasted until September 13th in PJ and is now on its national tour beginning with Johor. This year the theme is very gener general, it's uh, on freedom. So there's like freedom to exist, freedom to love, freedom to believe. So almost actually anything could go under there. Yeah, and um, usually I would um, choose films that have a resonance with Malaysia. Lah. You know, I mean, it could be an issue in Senegal, but if they're also facing like um, elections and they have Pemantau, you know, and stuff like that, then it would also be relevant, I feel, to show to Malaysians. Yeah, yeah. What was different about this year's film test from last year? Actually, um, but this one maybe you need to put down, but yeah, but last year, I think one thing was um, actually with the festival, we usually get quite a good audience, but last year, after the election and then we we screen in december there seemed to be like a everybody like enough lah enough of democracy enough of politics enough of uh, you know there's kind of like a a, a lull lah. everybody was like kind of tired yeah but this year is back to normal yeah and um, i think with a more popular team lah, like freedom very generic right um it actually kind of attracted more people, it catered to a larger audience. Because the the crowd for, you know, like activists and you know, those interested in politics and change, I think we've kind of uh, already maxed it out. Lah. So I think the festival is more about getting new audience. The first film to be screened in JB today was Tan Pin Pin's To Singapore With Love, a story of the city-state's dissidents living in exile. This screening created quite an interest with busloads of Singaporeans making their way across the causeway into JB. The screening itself was somewhat tense. Thanks. There's a bit of paranoia here today, isn't it? It's almost, it was almost like a police state. <coughs> so, there's a statement or a comment <laughs> or a question? Your yeah, view, I mean, this is the first time, right? It wasn't like that in KL? But actually, it's just for, um, it's also the filmmaker's request in the sense that uh, it's her film and uh, she has the right to want to take interviews or not and she decided that maybe the timing is not right and we have to respect that lah. you know, I mean the fact that she's showing her film and doing a Q&A maybe for her is already quite um, the first step lah. and I think with more support maybe next time she will do interviews, I don't know maybe 
was this film uh, the best in terms of response from the audience? No, no, actually a lot of the films this year had really great response and really good uh, Q&As. Mm. And I think this film was, uh, I mean the government of Singapore really just helped make this film uh, become so popular actually. I mean, it, it did receive, actually even in KL, the Q&A was really, really good because a lot of Singaporeans and also Malaysians from that era who can relate to the issue had come for the screening. So it was something very meaningful. Lah. You know, there were tears in the audience and stuff like that. Yeah, but there was several other good films. I would say there are a lot of good films, you know, and usually the popular ones that get a lot of response actually is the Malaysian films. You know, it's just like over here, the Singaporeans were clapping and laughing at certain points. Same thing you'll see when we show a Malaysian film. The kind of jokes la, that we'll <laughs> appreciate, you know, political or not, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And also the Jalanan film, which screened an Indonesian documentary, but it was uh, about um, buskers in Indonesia. And again, you can see the Malaysian audiences being able to relate to the jokes, to the scenarios, to the profiles, you know. So what I'm seeing is actually we're same la, family la, to some extent. Eh? Same experiences, uh, you know, same conditions. Yeah, so very much I think the Southeast Asian um, camaraderie or whatever they call it, you know, the connection can be inculcated and, you know, can be further extended. Eh? Yeah.